all families are special. Do you know what I found out today? Miss Mack, my teacher, is going to be a grandma. She told our class, my daughter is having a baby. I'll be the baby's grandmother. I can hardly wait. All the kids were surprised. It's funny to think that teachers have families. Everyone is part of a family, Mrs. Mack said. Would you like to talk about your families? Hands shot up all over the room. Mrs. Mack said, Sarah, you begin. Well, said Sarah, there are four of us in my family. There's my mom and dad and me and my little sister, Rachel. She's four years old. We adopted her from China when she was almost a year old. Mom and dad and I flew to China over a huge ocean, miles and miles away to bring Rachel home. On the long plane ride home, Rachel walked up and down the aisle with me, holding onto my hands. Everybody smiled at us. We loved Rachel right away. Nick was waving his hand. Let's see, there's Mama and Papa, there's Grandma and Grandpa. We have a new baby, Josh. I have two big sisters and two little brothers. Me, I'm right in the middle. That makes 10 people in one house. When my family orders pizzas, we need three super ones. 10 people, that's one big family, Mrs. Mack said. Families come in all sizes, don't they? Who has a small family? Matt raised his hand. My family is only two people, my dad and me. My mom died when I was two years old. We have lots of pictures of her. I like the wedding pictures best. She looks so beautiful in her long white dress. There's one of mom and me that I like too. Hannah, who's never shy, wanted her turn. I have two mommies, Michelle and Annie. In our family, we all ride bikes, take hikes and go camping. Michelle and Annie both have green thumbs. That means they know how to grow flowers and vegetables. I'm a good gardener too. Grace was next. Our family has three people, she said. Mom, dad, and me. But my dad has to travel for his work. So lots of times it's just mom and me at home. I wish he had a different job. When my dad is someplace far away, he calls us before I go to sleep. He says, I miss you. Some nights he tells me something funny that happened and we both laugh. Then Jessica told about her family. Harry lives with us. My mom, my brother, and me. Harry's just like my dad, but he's not our real father. My real father moved away when I was still a baby, so I never knew him. My brother says he remembers him a little. But Harry's great. He taught me how to pitch and he helps with my math. We like a lot of the same books and movies. Yeah, I really like Harry. It was Juan's turn. My family is medium size, I guess. There's mom and dad and us kids. We moved into grandma's house when she came home from the hospital. Grandma is much better now, but she still needs us to help her. I love grandma's old house. It has a big porch and a big backyard. Dad lived there when he was growing up. Let's see, grandma, mom, dad, me, my twin sisters, Jenny and Carla. That makes six people in my family. Next, it was Salma's turn. My family lives in two places, she explained. Grandma and grandpa live in Pakistan. Mom and dad were born there. They came to the United States when my brother was just a baby. I was born here. Grandpa and grandma come to visit us every year. Grandma shows me how to make Pakistani foods like samosas. Grandpa goes to watch my brother's little league games. I wish they would stay in America, but 
They say they're too old to leave their home for good. We all cry a little when they go. Then we can't wait until they come next time. Next, it was my turn. My dad, my sister, and my brother. Oh, there's me, my mom, my dad, my sister, and my brother. Then our, there's our dog, Callie, too. We used to have a cat, Mama Cat, but she died last summer. Is it okay to say a cat and a dog are part of your family, Mrs. Mack? Sure, Robert, Mrs. Mack said. Well, everyone in my family misses Mama Cat, even Callie, I said. Kevin told us I live with Grandpa, Grandma, and Mom, just on weekends. When Mom comes, she sleeps in the bottom bunk bed on my, in my room. It used to be her room when she was growing up. I love it when I wake up and she's there. I have lots of aunts, uncles, and cousins, too. When the whole family gets together, like on Thanksgiving, it's one big bunch of people. The day after Thanksgiving, I always go to the movies with all my cousins. In my family, Christopher told us, my mom and dad got divorced. My dad moved to an apartment, but we still live in our old house with mom. My big brother and I keep most of our things in our house with mom. But we have stuff at dad's apartment too. We're usually over there a couple of days a week. That's the way it is when you divorce. Emily raised her hand. I have two families too, she said. My mom and dad are divorced. Then last year, Dad got married again to Karen. She's not my mom, but she's really nice. She's my stepmom. Karen's kids are my stepbrother and stepsister. It took a long time until we all got used to living together. Now Mom is going to marry her boyfriend, Tom. Tom's daughter, Maria, visits us on weekends. We have a good time together. After everyone had a turn, Mrs. Mack said, part of living in a family is sharing happy times and sad times. Can you think of some unhappy things that happen in families? Lots of hands went up. The kids talked about when somebody gets sick and the doctor says, it's serious. Or when a mom loses her job and she can't find a new one. Or when a mom and dad argue all the time and they decide to get a divorce. The children feel pulled back and forth between them. When we talked about good things that happen in families, everybody had lots to tell. About sending pictures to grandpa and grandma to put on the refrigerator. About our family picnics, sending emails to cousins, going to stay with relatives who live far away, building a neat tree house with a favorite uncle, feeling happy when everyone gets together on holidays. Mrs. Mack told us, when there are bad times, families help each other to feel better. When there are good times, families enjoy them together. The different people in our families all fit together, like pieces in a puzzle. You are a very important piece of the picture. No families are the same. All families are definitely special.